a little over a year, we noticed that his army crawling didn't go to regular crawling. And he wasn't pulling himself up on, on couches or chairs. That's when we knew that we had to get him in a pediatrician and say, hey, listen, he's been doing great. But then all of a sudden, these things stopped. It suggested to us that we go to a physical therapist and occupational therapy. We went to go see them and they diagnosed him with mild cerebral palsy. He has the ones where it affects the trunk and his legs and he doesn't have very good trunk or balance. So that made it very hard for him to army crawl and to stand up by himself. He didn't have that balance, that stability. So after a couple years of doing physical and occupational therapy, we started to slowly see some progress. He was pulling himself on things and he was beginning to walk but with assistance. So that was very, very reassuring. He's had therapy for about um, eight years now. I feel like every year he is getting stronger. Um, the doctors did tell us in Florida that by 10 years old, he should be able to walk by himself. So right now he is in a walker wheelchair. He uses a little bit. Um, but we're slowly starting to get to his arm crutches, so we're hoping by the end of this year, arm crutches is definitely our goal instead of just the walker, so he can be more independent. I think with the first session that he's going to have today, I think it's going to be amazing for him. I think just being on that horse and having that balance is going to give him that confidence that he needs and um, also that independence that, yes, I can do this. Like he always uses the word, I can't. Well, that's not, we don't have that word in our dictionary. Like, yes, you're gonna do it. It's your own way. You have to find your own way to do things even if it's different than what I'm gonna do. I put in horse therapy online and totally on a stables came up and I clicked on it and I was reading about how this amazing program has all these volunteers and how they give that their time to these incredible children and you can just see the joy on these children's faces that I had to get him in and I called Sasha and I said, Sasha, I'm like, I gotta get my kid in. I said, I think this is gonna be so great for him. It's gonna give him confidence. It's gonna give him that independence that he needs. It's also gonna give him the therapy that he needs. So it's just all together, it's gonna be so great for him. I'm excited. It's been awesome to watch him and see him grow and learn new things. Like every day we come here, it's like something different for him. Like just watch him grow every session that we come to. I think it's been a really good experience for him and for myself. For him, he's learning like more balance. He's learning more independent. He's been able to stand on his feet for a longer period of time. And the experience for me has been overwhelming with all of the support from the staff and um, learning from Dia. And it's been incredible watching him grow every session that he has and he comes here. It's been really great. I would love during to come back here during the fall, but I wish I wasn't on the fall waiting list. I would like to start as soon as possible because this has been so amazing and I can't wait to get back.